If you want to improve your golf grip, then what better way to do it? Ben Hogan style. I'm going to do a review of this book overall in a later video, but today I want to go over one of the lessons, and that's one of the five lessons in Ben Hogan's Five Lessons, The Modern Fundamentals of Golf. And today I want to go over the grip. So in the future I'll go over some of the other lessons, so be sure to watch those other videos and subscribe and check them out. And then I'll give you my full review of the book as well. But today I just want to go over the grip. So when Ben Hogan goes over the grip, he has quite a few particular things you need to do with your hand and he talks about the importance of the grip and how if you don't have the grip right then your whole swing is basically screwed. So I want to show you just the things he did and I'll show you some of the pictures in here as well. But to check out what he does, he um, first off says this, the first thing you do when you're starting to do your grip is that you, with the left hand, you get the club, the butt of the club there at the edge of your palm and then here in the first part of your index finger and you get the pressure there so you can hold it like that and so I only have the pressure there on the first part and then below the palm right there so once you get a good fill between your holding the club under your palm and your first finger there then you can wrap your three fingers around there and put your thumb on top of the club there and Ben Hogan says to have a V between your thumb and your hand and have it point towards your right eye. And most of the pressure will be on your palm and these three fingers here. And then he goes to the right hand and you put the pinky on top between the index finger and the middle finger. Um, Tiger Woods and other golfers tend to like to uh, interlock the fingers, which I also personally like to do. But as far as um, talking about this book with Ben Hogan, he likes to have his pinky over it. So the hands are still working together. They're not apart, but they're working together. And then a lot of the pressure is on these first, or on these two fingers, the middle and the ring finger. You put the, feel the pressure of the club right there and you wrap your hand around and the thumb just kind of goes in there in that pocket, it just is comfortably on there. And the V on your right hand should point towards your chin and so a lot of, he mentions that you shouldn't have much pressure with your thumb here and your index finger these shouldn't be tight around the the grip but there should be pressure coming from right here on that finger pushing in and so now you have your hands working together you can feel the back of the club here on your palm so you can kind of feel that as you move the club up and down and the pressure on these two fingers on the right hand as well, and the pressure on these three fingers. Again, I naturally in interlocked, but Ben Hogan teaches not to interlock, but I think that depends on your preference. So that's kind of um, the gist of Ben Hogan's grip. So something also to keep in mind is with what I just taught you from Ben Hogan's book, The Five Lessons, The Modern Fundamentals of Golf, um, is that he had a hook. So everything in his swing basically was to fix his hook. So if you don't have a problem with that, which probably about 75% of golfers actually struggle with the slice, having this exact grip that he has might not be for you. Uh, many golf instructors in tell you instead to have the thumb with the V going towards your right shoulder and not your right eye like Ben Hogan taught. And maybe your hand coming in a little um, farther on the club instead of being up top. So it depends on what you need. So every golfer is a little bit different. So keep that in mind if you are gonna do the Ben Hogan grip. I personally had issues when I did Ben Hogan's group grip exactly. It didn't work out too well for me. That's probably because I struggle with the slice. Either way, whether you have the slice or a hook, Ben Hogan's lessons on the grip can help you overall. I just think you'd have to tweak things a little bit to what helps you as far as the pressure points and where your hand should be, um, whether you do interlock your pinkies or not. So there's a few little things you could change, but overall his lesson on the grip is pretty darn good and it's something to keep in mind when you're trying to improve your golf swing. So if you want to watch more of these videos on Ben Hogan's book, The Five Lessons, Golf 
Modern Fundamentals, Modern Fundamentals of Golf. Uh, check out my next videos and make sure to subscribe and I hope this tip helps.